This year's ADA has a lot of uh, interesting presentations on type 1 uh, diabetes and type 2 diabetes. And uh, of course, the cardiovascular outcome trials stand on the forefront. Everybody is very interested how our new uh, therapies, SGLT2 inhibitors and uh, GLP-1 receptor agonists, can really impact on uh, cardiovascular outcomes in people with type 2 diabetes. Of interest also, uh, studies uh, reporting on insulin in uh, cardiovascular outcomes uh, are being presented. The DEVOTE study, for instance, uh, indicating that indeed there is a difference when comparing uh, two basal insulins like Deglodec and Glargine on hypoglycemic events. And hypoglycemic events turn out to be very important, again, for cardiovascular outcomes. Also in type 1 diabetes, very interesting studies are being presented, uh, especially in the direction of whether we can use adjunct therapies, so added therapies to insulin in people with type 1 diabetes in order to improve outcomes like hemoglobin A1c, but also like variability of glucose control, like hypoglycemic risk, like weight gain. And so there were studies presented on metformin added on to insulin, looking at intimal media thickness. Intimal media thickness was not affected, but insulin dose, weight, hypo was affected. So there are some arguments to say that indeed adjunct therapies like metformin, but also like SGLT2 inhibitors, like GLP-1 receptor agonists, may have a value in people with type 1 diabetes. There were also very interesting basic research presentations trying to further elucidate how type 1 diabetes exists, how NASH exists, which is becoming a very prominent feature in the metabolic disease that is type 2 diabetes. So a very exciting uh, ADA conference. EMPAREG leader and the SUSTAIN-6 trials have really uh, been of, of, of a great interest in the last months, in the last years, and, and they've really made us think about really altering the fate of our type 2 diabetic patients, not only by glucose lowering, but by a holistic approach which a with agents that do more than just bring down glucose. Because indeed, the SGLT2 inhibitors one of which empagliflozin was studied in Emparec. They bring down glucose, but they also bring down weight. They also have an effect on blood pressure. And so very interesting concepts. GLP-1 receptor agonist, the same in leader and sustain 6, liraglutide and uh, semaglutide. Again, agents that not only affect glucose, but also bring down weight, affect blood pressure, and have also other effects for instance, uh, anti-inflammatory effects. And so what EMPAREG, LEADER, and SUSTAIN-6 have demonstrated is that indeed these types of agents can have an effect on cardiovascular outcomes in people with type 2 diabetes. EMPAREG showed dramatic effects on um, uh, mortality and also especially on uh, heart failure, whereas uh, the LEADER and the SUSTAIN-6 trials have quite difficult uh, results to interpret because they are a little bit contradicting, although they are both studying a GLP-1 receptor agonist. Indeed, they have, both of them, a positive three-point maze outcome, but when you look at the different components in SUSTAIN-6, for instance, it's been driven mainly by non-fatal stroke, the beneficial effect, whereas in LEADER, it's being driven mainly by cardiovascular mortality. And how to explain this is really the topic of a lot of discussion. And, and the honest answer is we don't know at present. Mm -hmm.